Okay, this is part three. Now I'm gonna load in the Zorin OS Linux. So I'm gonna take out the Windows hard drive. Take out the hard drive that has the Zorin OS installed. I'm just gonna pop it into this uh, removable hard drive bay, like so. Close the door. And of course, lock it up. So we don't want anybody to pop out the drive while it's still running by accident, even though it's hop swappable. It's gonna power on the system and uh, wait for the good old HP BIOS to load. So give it a few seconds here, maybe several. There we go. Here's the BIOS. F1 to save changes because I just popped in another hard drive. Okay, it's loading the OS. Just to prove that this is Zorin, it's using GNU or GNU Grub version 1.99 or version 2. Already loaded, so you should see something come up on the screen. There you can see the little spinning wheel of Zorin. By the way, I'm using the the desktop free version. Uh, you can go to zornos.com to download it from the internet if you're interested. And if you want to purchase it by making a little small donation, you can go ahead and do so at this time. Let's just type in the password. There we go. That's the desktop. Let's go to the so-called start menu. And what what Zorin is, it's similar to um, if you're folks that are getting tired of using Windows and you want to use Linux, well, here's a good operating system for you to transition from. Ubuntu is good, but some people don't like the Unity desktop interface so this looks similar to Windows so if you're coming from a Windows environment and you want to try out Linux I would give Zorin a try there's also PC Linux there's also other versions of Linux that you can try out but this one seems to be pretty good and seems to be one of my favorites so let's go about find out what the settings are actually what kind of version of OS we're running on so let's go to system tools uh, let's see system settings details you yeah, don't mind the Ubuntu screen but it's actually Zorin version so and you can see the specs on here if I can just get a good zoom here I wasn't kidding I'm running six gigs even though it shows 5.8 gigabytes the Intel 
Xeon CPU E5430, which is a quad core, 2.66 gigahertz. At least that's what Linux has a clock, and you see times eight, which means eight cores are active. Graphics card, it says unknown, even though we're running a GeForce GT 610. It's a gigabit OS. Um, excuse me, it's a 64 gigabit system, and the hard drive is approximately 500 gigabyte. So that's pretty much it as far as uh, different operating systems that are currently running on this system. So if you like the video, and again, I apologize for the long boot time, please rate and comment and subscribe and feedback the video. Until then, take care.